part of the destination is the end, and for the Guardians of the Galaxy, their end is fast approaching. While this third volume marks the swan song for writer-director James Gunn before he goes on to become the co-CEO of DC, he still gave fans a last ride with his team, several easter eggs, and an emotional soundtrack that will be on repeat for years to come. The Guardians of the Galaxy trailer shows that it has a lot to offer without giving away the plot, but that doesn't mean it's not filled with predictions and easter eggs that are common with Marvel Comics. With that said, let's take a look at the trailer and every other important detail you might have missed. Number 1. New Suits? Oh yeah! The Guardians of the Galaxy aren't new to wearing suits. In Volume 1, the squad made a wardrobe change to Ravager Red midway into the movie. Now they've evolved beyond that. Despite the cool look of the red suits, the Guardians of the Galaxy are going over and beyond in their suits and they look great. Also, the suit wears are identical to those in the comics, which is a sign that Marvel is trying to be accurate in these new MCU phases. These comic-accurate suits have many fans excited for what is to come, and lay the groundwork for the coming phases. Another eye-catching wardrobe moment was when the squad wore a spacesuit for what appeared to be a spacewalking sequence. While the spacesuits contain bright colors which allude to the popular video game Among Us, we can't be sure if it was a direct inspiration. Number 2. It's called a Zune. At the end of the second volume of the Guardians of the Galaxy, Peter Quill receives a gift from his father a Zune MP3 player, which was believed to be the player people were using to listen to music back on Earth. If he stayed a bit longer on Earth, he might have discovered Spotify amidst other things, but its sentimental value was of great importance. Number 3. Lila Makes Her MCU Debut While The Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is the last time we'll see a lot of the squad, specifically under the care of Gunn, the trailer seems to spotlight Rocket Raccoon and his origins. In one of the scenes, he embraces Lila, a sentient otter. The comic books portray her significant role in Rocket's life, often serving as a helpmate and love interest for Raccoon. And now, she finally makes her debut in the MCU. As for who will voice her character, fans can merely guess. Several rumors in 2019 reported that the voice actor would be no other person than Lady Gaga, but these rumors are unclear at best and should be taken with a pinch of salt. Despite that, Debuting her character is simply a big move and should add another layer to Rocket and Lila's unraveling history. Number 4. Adam Warlock So, we all knew that Adam Warlock was returning to Guardians of the Galaxy 3, so we won't dwell so much on that. This perfect sovereign which Ayesha created to destroy the Guardians of the Galaxy was teased in the post credit scene of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. His reappearance might have taken a few years and a lack of a soul stone, but He's back like he never left. What is more interesting about his reappearance is that he now has a different look and is now stealing Vision style. Warlock now has a diamond-shaped gem in the middle of his forehead, which looks like an infinity stone. Hmm, fascinating. In the comics, the High Evolutionary gives Warlock what is called a soul stone, which allows him to suck the soul out of living things. Think of a vampire, but for souls. Eventually, Warlock discovers the evil side of the stone and is accosted by Thanos, who ends up making a clone of that stone. We for sure aren't seeing Thanos again, so there might be a slight aberration from the comics. It's very evident that we'll be seeing more of Warlock's evil side, majorly because of the stone. Number 5. Hello Abolisk Towards the end of the Guardians of the Galaxy trailer, the squad are caught off guard by a giant red monster with several rows of teeth. If you blink, you miss it, but we've surely seen that big guy before. It's Abelisk, the monster who fought with the team in the second volume of Guardians of the Galaxy. Remember the guy whom the squad battled with as Groot danced obliviously about? Yeah, that slithery, gooey monster. While it might let us know where the Guardians are, since they were on the Sovereign Planet when they first encountered Abelisk, it doesn't really help much, considering that the monster is a multi-dimensional being. However, with Warlock's appearance, they are definitely on the Sovereign Planet but the first Abelisk we saw in the Guardians series was destroyed. Does this mean there are more of these suckers? Number 6. Baby Rocket Raccoon Let's face it, everyone loves babies, whether they are human babies or alien babies. Thanks to the popular claim of Baby Groot and Yoda, now every creature gets a cute counterpart. The newest trailer features Baby Rocket, who is a stark contrast to the loudmouth raccoon fans have come to love. This might bring a lot of questions, but we trust Marvel not to be above answering. 
we are about to delve into the origins of this raccoon, and we bet it's going to be an emotional ride. Number 7. Gamora is back! It's time to address the big and the deadly elephant in the room. Gamora is back with the Guardians for Volume 3. The last time she was on our screens, she was a casualty of Thanos in Avengers Infinity War. In that movie, she died, and the version which was featured in the movie was her younger self who hadn't met the Guardians before. The trailer shows her at different points in the movie, and while she doesn't know what her predecessor did, it's sure that she'll be teaming up with the squad for good. Number 8. The Guardians of the Galaxy Soundtrack Gunn is an expert at picking perfect songs to match with the trailers, and this time it's no different. A few minutes into the trailer, we can hear While You Were Gone by Rainbow. It's a song about someone who lost love and is traumatized by the aftermath of this. This of course represents Peter who has been on this journey since he lost Gamora in 2014. The person in the song is asking their lover to get back to them, and this opens to Quill and Gamora in the beginning. Before this, we caught Quill drowning his sorrows in a bottle while reminiscing about his green-faced lost love. Other tracks in the third volume include a remixed version of the 1996 song In the Meantime and a 2020 song, Do You Realize? Number 9. Cosmo the Space Dog The MCU is never afraid to embrace the eccentricities of its comic history, and this time, a telepathic Soviet dog has been jumbled into the mix. Cosmo the Space Dog was first seen in the very first volume of the Guardians of the Galaxy, and has now returned in the third volume with a special set of skills and, particularly, a voice. The dog isn't very easy to spot, given that they are four-legged and are walking amongst trees, aliens, and humans, but the dog wears the same suits as the Guardians. Has it joined the squad, or is it just playing fetch? Number 10. Prison Break Things are coming full circle for the Guardians of the Galaxy. The first time the squad worked together was when they broke out of a maximum security prison, and it seems like they'll be doing something similar this time. In the trailer, Max, Gamora, Drax, and Star-Lord can be seen trying to escape prison while in red jumpsuits, implying the team are ready for another prison break. We hope no one dies this time. Number 11. We are Groot. We are Groot. The final line in the trailer is one of the most iconic lines in MCU history. It might seem ordinary, but it's a callback to the first volume of the movie, followed by an epic shot of Groot and Star-Lord. These groups of characters and the actors that portray them have made a monumental impact in getting people interested in a talking tree, a talking raccoon, the girl from Avatar who is green, and a former WWE champion, and a lovable loser from Parks and Recreation. Eight years down the line, and they have accomplished it all, and We Are Groot still remains the most emotional teaser of all time. Charisma Unexpected emotions, standing ovations, epic needle drops, these and more are things that fans can count on when Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 drops on May 5th, 2023. Thanks for sticking around to the end of this video. Don't forget to share your opinion regarding these easter eggs in the comment section below. See you in the next video!